Hi, what is up guys? So today I'm actually bringing you an alternative video editing software. For many of you, you guys probably know that I use Premiere Pro. It's a really, really good editing software that I've, I've used for so long. I know a lot of you guys are in a position where you guys don't really have a lot of money to spend. I went out and found possibly one of the best editing softwares out there for the price, which is free, completely free. Let's get into my computer and let's check it out. All right, guys, this is the editing software I was talking about. This is HitFilm 3 Express. So I'm actually very excited to present this to you guys because I've actually used HitFilm in the past. Back in the day, they had a Kickstarter project. It was back in like 2013. I needed a reliable workhorse editing software because back in the day I was doing weddings and whatnot and I was actually using their Express. For me, it actually cost me $200. Recently though, they actually released their newest HitFilm 3 Express for free to the public. So anybody can go out there and actually download this. I will leave links in the description for you guys to check out. So to start off, you want to go over to the left hand corner and press new. And it will take you to your project. And right here, you'll have a template, you know, it'll give you a full range for you guys to use. It even has Instagram. You know, I know for a lot of you social media marketing agents, you know, out there, this is going to be perfect. Just to keep it simple, we're going to stick to the 1080p. And of course, you can come in here and customize it however you like. So once you're ready, just press start editing. As you can see, this layout is very, very familiar. It looks a lot like something like you would see in Premiere, in Final Cut. I've used them both, so pretty simple. It's pretty, you know, it's pretty basic. Especially if you guys are starting out, this is a really great way to get hands-on experience in, in editing without spending money. I mean, it is free. So in order to import your footage, you go down to the lower left-hand corner and just press import. Simple as that. You find your footage, double-click it, and there it is. It's right here on the trimmer. You can scroll through the footage right on this little little tab, little timeline. You can press the this little little set endpoints right here, or you can press the I and the and the O to, to trim your footage. And once you're ready to trim your footage, all you have to do is just drag your footage down here to the timeline. It'll tell you to change the sequence settings, but I like to keep the sequence the same as I left them before, so I usually press No. And as you can see now, it will be in your timeline editor, and you can view it right here. So it's a little small, so we can actually zoom in a little bit. The way I like to zoom in is actually by pressing Control and the scroll wheel. It'll zoom in just like that. Or if you guys want to zoom, you guys can also press this button, right? The little, little, little scrolling thing right here. <laughs> I don't know what this is called. But, you know, we can just zoom in right here, and it'll give us our footage. Let me actually mute this just by pressing the audio button right here. And now there's no audio just like that. And of course we can always right click and unleak. And now we can, we'll have these two separated. So now I can just go in here and actually just delete my audio. And just like that, I'll, I just have my footage. So you guys are probably wondering how good is this? You know, how good of a software is HitFilm 3 Express? Well, you guys can actually check out a couple of these short films right here. This one was directed by Ryan Connolly, one of my all-time favorite YouTubers. He has provided so much content on over on his channel. I will leave links in his description. I learned a lot from this guy. And he has edited complete short films on this. And it's insane. Like the quality. It looks Hollywood. <laughs> Essentially. It's it's really, really good. Continuing on with our tutorial. You know, you're probably wondering what other features can we do on here? Well, we have the effects tab over here. We can do so much. All right, so <laughs> let's do some quick color correction. So you can you can see the color correction tab right here and just double click on it. And we can adjust the brightness, just drag that on over to our footage. It'll take us over to our controls panel. And so then we can just go in here and actually just adjust it right from here. See, you can adjust the brightness, adjust the contrast. Say you want some more? Okay, let's go back in here. Let's adjust the, let's go back in here and let's do some color grading. Let's do hue set, hue colorize. Oh, look at that, beautiful. We can change the hue on this, different, <laughs> go crazy, I mean, it's insane. We can reduce the hue on it so it's not too, too strong. 
saturation lightness of course this looks terrible i do not recommend you guys go crazy like this but it gives as you guys can see it, you have a lot of a lot to work with we can add some grunge some grain i love i always like to incorporate some grain in my footage it makes it look vintage because it's really really cool and so say you guys for some reason messed up don't want to, want to use that you can just always delete it you know just by pressing the delete button or even going back to history and just you know essentially just pressing the tab where you last left off so you know we can even go as far as like trimming out our points and inserting our clips so let's start right around right around here you know we just we cut out our audio anything from warp you know some perspective warps to our transitions that are very important my most favorite is of course additive dissolve this is possibly the most basic but most professional one you'll ever find so when we play our footage it's just a simple fade in and we, of course we can add it on the endpoints as well and just kind of trim it down right here and then just like that here and actually just cutting down just because it kind of crosses over to the last clip but just like that like that beautiful so say it gets a little laggy often what I like to do is actually just go up here to the top right hand corner and actually press half so your computer isn't using as much power to actually run the run the video I recommend adjusting some settings like going in here you know you can even go down as the quarter of course it'll lower the resolution but it's honestly not noticeable all you're trying to do is cut their footage you know once you export it it'll you know it'll look 1080 it'll be beautiful so it doesn't matter and since we're talking about exporting all you have to do is go up here to the export button and essentially it'll give you a couple of tabs you know there's YouTube already this is perfect and then you can even add your YouTube account I just now notice this is wow this is insane this is awesome holy shit allow of course yeah okay wow look at just like that I have my YouTube account connected to HitFilm 3 Express. Insane. This is, we're just going to press this test. Description, it's optional. Film, you can categorize it. Tags, you can add your tags. Aspect ratio, this is, wow. <laughs> I'm already falling in love with this thing. And just like that, I'm able to export it. And so we can go over, that, over to H.264. You can adjust like how you want to export it. I'll leave it as is, 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second, 4.0. Typically, I like to raise the bit rate for YouTube up to 16. At 16 is usually the most optimal. It's not too much, but just enough so you can get the quality. That looks, up, that looks fine, right around there. For the audio, YouTube actually compresses it down to 192, so that's fine. Anything more than that would actually just be overkill. But if you want to squeeze in a little more audio, I would the top I would recommend is probably 256 kilobytes. But honestly, that's not necessary. So you'll be fine just like that. Image sequence, that's all fine for your PNGs. But since ours is an H.264, that's all we have to focus on. And so now when you're ready, just press export. Save it to wherever you want. And just like that, press save. And now it's ready to export just like that. Awesome. <laughs> wow, you have play option look at that look at that wow that's <laughs> oh my god this is so incredible like there's so many features on here that are actually not even available on premiere like that like just these this ease of use where it's actually tailored to to people like us that are you know vloggers or content creators you know it's it's so easy wow like this is really insane wow I'm, I'm geeking out right here guys yeah so i mean if you guys are really interested in looking into this which i highly recommend i'm not in no way sponsored by these guys although i wish i was because these are, this is amazing <laughs> this is honestly one of the best software editing softwares you can get out there for free for free understand this and again you know i'll leave links in the description for you guys to check out but i hope you guys enjoy this and please give a like subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one thank you guys